Hello there and welcome to or back to my page. I'm Nods and I do Trinity DIYs or really whatever I feel like doing. Uh, yeah, so after this, my voice just sounded very annoying and I didn't like it and I was just speaking nonsense. So basically what I was saying is today we're going to be making some graphic tank tops from old t-shirts. Um, yay, exciting. It could be a no-so, but I use a sewing machine just because I got a new sewing machine that I really love and want to use. So yeah, I use that. And basically also I was saying that I'm in my dorm room now, as you can see behind me. So that's why I don't have as much time to upload videos if you even care. <laughs> so yeah, that's where I've been really just college. But anyways, and I also said follow me on social media, uh, on Instagram at the Nadia Howard and on Depop at the Nadia Howard because I post a lot of the clothes I make on Depop. So if you ever want to buy something, it's on my Depop most likely. But yeah, that's basically it. Now let's enjoy the video, please, because I'm talking too much. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Okay, so for the first top, I had this cute little brown t-shirt. Um, I could have just wore it like this, but I really didn't like the fit and I wanted to look like a bad bit. So I decided to cut it up. I used an old tank top that fit me well, just so I could trace um trace the what's it called, the design or whatever, the cut from that. And so yeah, I cut out the shape or whatever. So yeah, hopefully you would have already flipped the shirt inside out. I forgot to mention that. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut the first flap only, not the second flap, only the front flap. Just I'm gonna cut the little neck hole. And then I'm gonna pin, put my little pins down in there so that I sew straight and not crooked. And when I sew, I'm gonna make sure to leave seam allowance because that is so important. But you see where I set the pins on the on the top neck and on the sides. And yeah, I'm just gonna sew it down, leaving seam allowance and yeah, that's pretty much it. I used a regular stitch for this. No zigzag is needed. I just used a regular one. Yeah. I started, of course, with sewing my sides together first because I knew I did not need to clean up those edges. So yeah, make sure you side so, what the make sure you sew your sides together first, so you can still clean up the edges for your other sides. Speaking of clean up edges, here we go. I decided to pin down the edge flaps so I can make it look neat. So I'm just going to sew around these edges here all you have to do is fold the front back if that makes any sense um yeah and just sew it so it looks nice and neat um before you sew the straps together so this is like before before you even attach the two straps at the top okay T attaching the two straps at the top will be like the last step <laughs> so yeah make sure you do that just so you don't have to do it but if you want it to look like neat and clean then, then this is necessary Okay, so when your edges are all cleaned up, then you can go ahead and start to attach your straps together, front and back. Um, it's still, make sure your shirt is still inside out. And you're just gonna lay them on top of each other and then sew across multiple times. Don't just do it once, it's gonna be too weak. Sew it across multiple times so it is strong. And then yeah, that's, that's it. You can flip your shirt back the right way and it's done. Look how beautiful that is. Next up is this big t-shirt that had this beautiful design on the back. This beautiful design that was definitely made for some dude named Sebastian on his birthday. But anyways, that's not important. So I took the shirt and I used the same t-shirt cutout layout shaping thing that I used on the first one. Except I left the collar for this one because that's how I wanted the style. But yeah, then I cut along the sides of course and I think you can see the shape of it now. And I did the same thing by making sure to sew the sides first sides together first and then doing my details for the i didn't for this one i didn't have to sew the arms together because i left the collar so they were already attached but for like the armholes yeah i'd had to do that next so stay tuned Boom, you 
see how I fold it over the front like I did for the other t-shirt to do the armholes and keep it nice and neat? Yeah, that looks cute, don't it? You don't have to do that again like I just wanted to because I wanted mine to look, you know, a little professional. But then I went ahead and did the bottom too by folding it over again and sewing on the top layer just to clean it up, make it look nice and neat. Again, not necessary. It's whatever you want to do. That's the best thing about DIYs. like me a little bit if not a lot a bit so you might as well subscribe like something if you want to of course and check out my instagram at the nadia howard if you want to and my depop which is also at the nadia howard if you want to but yeah bye chicas and chicos